So coming out of the movie, you know, a movie about kids going into, this, into sixth grade, I couldn't help just naturally think about how I used to be when I was that age, when I was going into sixth grade. And I come to realization that I've officially hit the old as shit mark because I really honestly can barely remember what it was like to be in sixth grade. Man, that sucks. And with that, I'm welcoming to another episode of The Romance Room. My goal, as always, is to enhance the movie watching experience. So Good Boys, the newest raunchy comedy by the same team who brought you Neighbors, Sausage Party, and Superbad, all movies which I enjoy to various degrees, so I was kind of looking forward to this one, mainly because it's not every day you see a raunchy comedy about 11 or 12 year olds, so that was kind of an interesting little gimmick, I guess, if you can say, and at the end of the day, I think there's a movie you guys should also look forward to, because it's, it's really funny. So Good Boys is a coming-of-age story. You have three young kids, a couple of newcomers, and one played by Jason Tremblay, who's great, who's been around since Room a few years ago. And they've been friends since kindergarten. They're about to enter into sixth grade, and they're trying to fit in, and they're trying to find themselves, as most of us are at that age. And they get invited, end up getting invited to the first, very first kissing party. But unfortunately, before they can get there, Jason Tremblay ends up breaking his dad's uh, little drone. They have to find a way to replace it. They get into all these shenanigans, et cetera, et cetera. All this goes on, and but ultimately, they still try to fix what went wrong and still end up making it to the party. Now, what I really liked about this movie is, yes, first and foremost, is the humor. But before I get to that, it's, it's the three kids. They're, they're, they're great. They're so much fun. It was very organic. Nothing really seemed forced, even of all the... The kind of sexual and raunchy jokes that are thrown in there, a lot of cuss words that they use. It, it's not it's not gratuitous. They're not saying it just to say it because it's it's amusing to see a 12-year-old cuss on screen. It's actually used very well and it, and it ends up not being a gimmick, which I was afraid of going into the movie. Uh, and, and the chemistry is top-notch. They're so good together. I mean, other trim they've always had when I, since I first saw them in Room. The other kids were fantastic as well. I think that they, all, they all have a bright futures ahead of them and they really carry this movie. They, but again, it boils down to the humor. And this movie is just legitimately just a funny-ass movie. I was laughing a lot. Very entertaining. Not every joke hits. Obviously not. It never does. But the humor here, everybody gets up. All other kids get their moment to shine here. And these little these situations, which are, of course, ridiculous. These things can never happen in real life. But that's fine. They have a lot of fun with it. It doesn't take itself too seriously. So you kind of go along for the ride. Because ultimately, it's, as ridiculous as it may seem, it's funny. <laughs> You're laughing. You can't help it because these kids find themselves in the situations. And these are good kids. They're good, naive kids. They don't know anything about sex. And, you know, they're, they're cussing and all that. But they're very straight-laced and very good, naive kind of children here. So it's, it's interesting seeing them to these situations and trying to, you know, kind of fit in and pretend to be something that they're not. Something that we're all uh, guilty of at that age. And I think that's where the movie gets... It finds itself a, a, a nice layer of depth here because it does touch upon, you know, the friendships and what happened with his kids. When you, even myself having kids growing up, and you eventually kind of find yourself, far, you know, veering apart because your interests are not the same. You might have different classes, whatever the case is. But that, that natural progression of friendship, as sometimes kids, you know, when you're young, and it's I, I even from my own experiences, you end up not being friends after, after a while. So it ends up having a lot, of, a lot of depthness to that, which I really appreciate. That's a different layer here, which I could relate to. I think a lot of you guys could relate to what, why you're laughing in between. There's something to kind of grab onto. And at least a nice heartwarming uh, ending, which is really good. This movie does have heart, and I think it should and it needs to. And I think also make, uh, not just makes it a good comedy, it makes it a good movie here. Very well written, just decently directed. And again, it's not a movie that's going to blow you away. It's not the funniest movie all year. But who cares? Ultimately, this is a good, entertaining film. The humor really works. Again, you're not going to mind. You know, some, if you all get offended by kids cussing, fine, go see something else. This, this is a hard R. Parents, beware. Don't take your kids because you see a trailer with kids on it. And, and going, it's just great. It's, it's just, this is far from that. This is obviously, if you're a fan of super bad, those kind of films, this is right along those lines, except it's with younger kids here. And it really works. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was very well made. The kids, fantastic humor was really there very small negatives but you know just the ridiculous situation is not withstanding here not all the jokes hit of course it throws so much at you a lot of it's gonna fall flat and that's okay because a lot of it doesn't i think that's what really elevates the movie to making it overall just a good fun enjoyable comedy so good boys sure you watch it i absolutely recommend this movie comes out in about a month and a half from now towards the middle of august is a good way to kind of end the summer here um, so comment below, let me know what you guys thought, and of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe below and feed money to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. See you guys next time.